This looks like a little steam engine, but it actually uses a solenoid and it runs on electricity. A solenoid is just a coil of wire that forms an electromagnet and when it's energized, it pulls an iron core into it. I think I'll use this one because it looks the most like an engine and it also uses the least amount of power. This one's got uh, quite a long range of motion which means I can use a fairly large crank and this thing on here could be like a connecting rod except it's much too short so I'll make a new connecting rod out of this piece of metal. Pry that e-clip off without losing it. Now I think I want about 17 millimeters worth of crank throw because that makes the best use of the range where this solenoid actually pulls. And I'll make that crank out of some coat hanger wire. So I just bent this shape. Now I need to bend it straight on either side to get a crank of 8.5 millimeters of throw. This much, so not very much at all. So I'll just try to freehand eyeball this. See if that works. Just need to straighten that out a bit. It's got about the right amount of throw to it. Well, it's starting to look kind of straight. There's always a burr on the other side that I need to get rid of. I still need some sort of camshaft for activating when to energize the solenoid and for that I think I might use the inside of this barrier strip connector thingy. This thing already looks like it could be a cam, I just need to round it off a little bit. I need some main bearings for the crankshaft and I'll make them out of this little piece of lignum vitae. I also need a flywheel for this engine and I'll make that out of this piece of wood. Now because of this flywheel I need to mount this shaft a fair bit above the board and I made these blocks to hold the bearing blocks except I made them too short which means now I need to dig out a bit of a hole for the flywheel to dip into the base. That should give me enough room for everything. Now I've just screwed on the solenoid and I polished my crankshaft and the next thing I need is some spacers to go in here to keep that from sliding side to side. Now I just need some electrical contacts to activate off the cam here. This copper wire rides on the cam and moves up and down and then this one will contact the other wire when it's in the upper position to close the circuit and activate the solenoid.
So I had to add this screw here so I could have more force on the contacts and still adjust the gap a little bit. And now it's all done. Really just for fun because as an electric motor it's really not very practical.